Here are Bold Hills waterfalls. And it looks like it's got pretty good uh, examples of that uh, organ piping like we saw at Capita. But uh, we've just come down to the top of the falls here trying, trying to find a way down. But, so we might have to go back and come up the creek a bit. There's a couple of little drop-offs there that they look too good. Beautiful though. Anyway, we'll go around there. Alright, so after a little bush bash. We're down here. How yeah, beautiful though. So good. Nice pool. And it's not hot enough to go for a swim. <laughs> that hasn't stopped me before. Mate. Huh? Mate. Yeah. Over there on the rock. Well, Mr. Brown snake just started across that water. I've ne never seen a snake move that quick. They're pretty bloody good swimmers, hey, Duff? Thank you. But anyway, we might leave him be. The sound of the drone might have upset him. We might get uh, out of here. Get back to climbing up from here. Yeah, we'll climb up these rocks. Come on. Should be right there. Right, so then, onward. Well, that's just his way up. Doesn't look too sketchy on camera, but it's, uh, it's a bunch of loose boulders and um, it's relatively steep. We're just falling in the water though, aren't we? <laughs> Real shallow water, yeah. not even ankle deep water right here. <laughs> anyway, right, let's do it. Up we go. And today we're lucky enough to see an echidna. Hello, little mate. I'm not going to hurt you. Off he goes, so cute. Righto, closing down of day three. Michelle's writing in her diary. She's been very good at that, Every keeping day. up to date. Fire is really warm and it needs to be because it's already about bloody 10 degrees, I reckon. But anyway, this, uh, this theft of the thong. <laughs> oh, get out! Get out, mate! There we go. That's tied to the bench. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put me uh gonna put my rum mug on the end of it. So if you do try to take it, it'll knock the mug off and it'll wake me up and hopefully I'll be able to catch a glimpse of what it is. I've got my little SWAT torch up in the tent already. So yeah, hopefully catch a glimpse of uh what's flogged me shoe. <laughs> me chong. I gotta go find my spare set now. Oh glorious end to the day. Alright, next morning. 
had my trap go. <laughs> Not that it really was a trap, but my bloody cup was hanging. So I set this up to fall over onto the concrete, but it was pulled so tight that it just stayed hanging there. So I never actually heard. But woken up this morning and my thong has been pulled. And they've even broken it. Very sharp little teeth, whatever it is. Well, our second last day, and our second last little walk. We're uh, heading down to Norfolk Falls. Uh, apparently, you can't get down to the bottom of it. We might have a look. Hey, yeah, thirty-five meter drop. <laughs> oh, thirty-five meter drop. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, it's been a beautiful stay here. It's a bloody chilly, mid-December, and it's. Uh, Oh, it's still bloody cold. I haven't taken a jumper off all this funny off pretty much the whole time I've been here. It's not a very far walk, is it, but No. A little walk down here to these falls. Roll. Might be a bit exciting. Might go back to the uh, the pinnacle lookout later on. It's a bit unfortunate that uh, forest roads closed still. But uh, there's quite a few interesting little points of interest up that way, so... One day we might be back here and we might uh, venture down that road. But anyway, onward down this track. Well, here we are at one vantage point. And it's pretty bloody impressive. 35 metres with a nice little pool down the bottom of it. And there's another viewing platform just right up beside the creek, so we'll walk up there and get another vantage point though. Yeah. Bloody beautiful, eh? Absolutely beautiful. So there we are, right up beside it. You can just get a glimpse of this beautiful pool over the bottom there. Probably one of the most beautiful waterfalls I've seen since probably Wallerman Falls, I reckon. Absolutely beautiful. Another night draws to a close. 
but uh, tonight I've got a sausage sizzle for dinner. So, uh, shout out to Davo, the big man. He might recognise these things. Shavapis. Oh God, they smell good too. Cooked on a fire. Absolute premium. All right, last day in cooler tops. We're gonna do the last walk, which is the grass tree walk. And there's some uh, plant life in there, which are uh, centuries old. So that's gonna be pretty good to see. Another beautiful day. And I've uh, got to the bottom of this, uh, this thong thief. Saw him last night. As has thought, a fox. It's left his uh, tooth marks in there, but more distinctively, just in there. So that's pretty funny. There's been no thong action for a couple of nights. And last night, he was onto it. So we get to this, uh, get to this walk and um, spend the rest of the afternoon just relaxing and taking in this beautiful forest before hitting the road tomorrow. I've got no idea where we're going tomorrow actually because we've got no service up here. So we just, we're doing Newcastle in a few days. So we've got two stops on the way there and um, I'll have to get on a wiki camps or something and have a look at uh, where we might stay tomorrow night and the next we've kind of uh, eyed off an area but um, we'll just see how we go and then uh, yeah that that's that's three months that's three months in we'll do a little stint with uh, Michelle's family over Christmas and then uh, hit the road again but anyway ready to go on a walk though yeah yeah come with me <laughs> you ready finally Holy shit. They are the biggest bloody grass trees. <laughs> wow. Weren't kidding when they said they were centuries old. Jesus. Far out. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Crikey. They're uh, just so impressive, my god. Oh, these ones have uh, fallen over. Still growing. They're still growing, but yeah, a bit unfortunate. Oh, they're just scattered all throughout. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely gigantic. They haven't said thousands of years old, but they've said hundreds. Centuries. Centuries. Yeah, well, it's a hundred, <laughs> isn't it? Last time I Centuries is a couple of hundred. <laughs> That's what I said, wasn't it? Centuries. Some of them would be dead set five meters high. Just bloody everywhere in this this area here. I wonder what made them just decide. I'm just going. We're all just going to grow here. Unreal. Righty, eh? As we settle into our final afternoon here at Cooler Tops, before closing off the video. Oh, but, oh, there's those bloody birds again. I've been through that forest all afternoon, trying to get a good photo of those parrots, and uh, you get close to them, and before you can uh, get them in focus, they bugger off. <laughs> but anyway, a good old map. So last time I filled this out, we're at the eight week mark. Now we're at 12 weeks. So we left Albury and we drove up towards Yass and we hit a little town called Barua. We stopped there and we had a great, um, great stay at a pub and they had uh, award winning pizzas. I forget the name of the pub. Do you remember that? Oh, it was the Ram and Stallion Hotel. So anyway, then we pushed north through these back roads here and we went all the way up to Molong ended up in Dubbo then from Dubbo we carried up the new highway to Coonabarabran where we restocked 
and then we headed to Barrandine and into the Pilliga. We stayed there for a week. That was our longest to date um, stop in one spot. And from there, we came back out, back down the Nil de Kuna Barabran, and then we went into the Warren Bungles for another week. From there, back to Kuna Barabran again, and then up to Narrabri. And we headed just outside of town towards Mount Capitar and stayed at a nice little place called the Riverside Retreat on private property. And that gave us a great little base to get up into these uh, Capitar National Park. And from there, we carried on and went out to Weewa, visited the Australian Telescope Array, and we stayed at Lake Yarri, which was brilliant. Then, <laughs> We came from Narrabri and we drove down to Gunnidar and then headed down to Kula and then up into the Kula Tops National Park, which we are currently. And so this was it. This has been our longest stop now. We've stayed the full uh, duration of booking. So we're out on day seven. So we've had six nights and then tomorrow we'll head out down onto this golden highway and I've found a spot in Denman we might camp at. So we might stop in Denman and then on to Newcastle over Christmas. And that'll be 12 weeks, that'll be 13 weeks on the road. So a whole um, calendar three months. So yeah, that's what, uh, that's what our lap's currently looking like. So that's pretty cool. So a <laughs> bit of backtracking there, but we found some beautiful weather. And um, yeah, we've only had, I think in, geez, it'd be coming up to nearly six weeks. It'd be probably only two days of rain. So um, that's a lot better than six weeks. We had two days of sunshine on the uh, flip side of that. <laughs> but anyway, it's been brilliant. And this place, this place is cooler tops. Um, yeah, if the name doesn't say enough, it's uh, we've been having 25 degree days and um, eight, uh, five degrees to eight degrees overnight. So it's been quite chilly and um, beautiful sunny days, great sleeping weather and um, just an absolutely beautiful forest. And there's so much going on in here. And uh, yeah, we'll kick on. We'll kick on into Newcastle for Christmas. And then uh, into 2023, even though this video will come out in 2023, this will be the last video that we recorded in 2022. So, but anyway, <laughs> I don't know how many months behind we are, probably oh, a month to six weeks behind on the videos. But anyway, we've got Starlink coming, so we'll, uh, we might be able to upload a bit, uh, bit more frequently. But at the moment, it's just kind of trying to tout one a week. And then whenever we get mobile phone service, I just set it up to, uh, to upload overnight and uh, it's quite a slow process using a mobile phone as people who've tried that probably know but uh, it takes a long time to upload a video on your mobile phone but anyway I'm gonna tuck into this last evening get a fire lit and uh, just enjoy the rest of the uh, rest of our time here and slowly pack up so we get a quick getaway in the morning mm -hmm. 